Yeah, there's definitely a lot more pressure involved in your first heat, uh, which I think um, takes a level of surfing down because um, it's surfing's a little bit like golf where if you think too much and there's too much pressure, you lock up and you don't surf as good. So, I mean, having that first round in the original format loosens people up. Gets, get, it feels a little bit more like a warm-up or a free surf, so you're going to see a lot more exciting surfing in the original format that way. I'm not a strong believer that it's uh, the best thing for the sport. $600 million. <laughs> oh, dude. Thing I've ever seen. Oh, Chiliano. <laughs> Chile, I just got back from Chile. I was, um, I was competing over in Brazil, and it's just a short flight over to Chile from there. It's unbelievable just flying into Santiago. If anyone's ever done it, you fly in over the Andes. So there's just snow covered mountains. You fly in between the mountains into Santiago. When you get to Santiago, you're probably going to get harassed a bit for people trying to get your hire cars and things like that. But if you think about the waves, it's probably some of the best waves I've ever surfed in my life. Anyone that wants to go to the north of Chile and um, experience a Rica would probably be the type of person that either likes coming close to death when they surf a heavy ledge or a person that's always wanted to go to Mars but could never get there because the place is just a sandy desert with not much going on and the wave is just this heavy, heavy slab. You definitely want to take a lot of boards because I snapped three in one session. So if you think of it like that, you want to have, you know, at least five boards in your quiver for a two week trip.